This is a combination video for smaller profile editor UI changes that don't have their own video. Okay, we're back in the profile editor. Uh, first of all, uh, we made some few um, improvements to just general usability. Um, you'll see that uh, middle mouse button can now be either held to, to grab and move around the um, view. Um, like in a normal drawing program. You can uh, hold down control and turn the mouse wheel to zoom to use the zoom slider over here. Um, you can just to turn the wheel, the mouse wheel to scroll without holding control, except if the mouse cursor is over a rotary control that um, also allows mouse wheel interaction. So you'll see what happens here. You're moving it around, you go over the course, button and it will turn that button. Um, so that's middle mouse button support. The next thing um, we just changed uh, made made, uh, made some general readability improvements. You'll see a lot of the bold stuff is gone. Everything is a little bit lighter and hopefully uh, clearer for reading. Um, some of the uh, some of the options are now uh, in, in expanders like this in, in some of the some of the UI. So um, I mean it's maybe too detailed, but the, b basically in the in the past we had uh, advanced checkbox and you would open you know check that and then more things would show up. But now things are just in these little expanders that match how everything else is done. And um, that's about that's about that for for clarity. Uh, always happy to get some feedback on this kind of stuff um, but um, hopefully this will help with usability okay uh, next major thing uh, in the uh, TCS interface there used to be options here for a phantom monitor fix uh, that was uh, that was removed because uh, we don't believe it works um, so let us know if if you were using it and uh, we'll put it back okay um, finally probably uh, uh, let's see there are some features uh, minor features uh, mo monitor uh, reset when you do the the um, when you do uh, reset monitors you can now change um, between landscape and portrait basically what that means is if you resize this view um, from let's say I'm going to go from three to two it will um, in the previous code what it used to do is um, it used to make it small like this in order to make it fit right and then when you take it back from two to three what it would do is it would just stay small so if you move things back and forth between monitors they would just get smaller and smaller what it does now is it tries to see if it can fit all the controls by just uh, you know scaling it back up so that's uh, probably n you know only people with who have some of their monitors in uh, the vertical arrangement will really care about that okay uh, another improvement um, in the help menu we have um, the check for new version has been rebuilt um, Incidentally, there's also some links in here for the release notes, which are now um, online only. Um, the wiki homepage um, and uh, donate button. And But the main thing here would be uh, check for new version. So um, I quickly created a version so we can actually demo this. Um, but normally this would be uh, a released build that has a number that is higher than what you're currently running. Um, and it's available on GitHub, and therefore it shows up in this dialog. Um, right now, it uh, it will actually automatically pop up also when you um, when you um, because a higher version is is available, um, and it's set to check every session. It would actually also automatically pop this up. But I've I've uh, popped it up manually this time. Uh, what you can do in here is you'll see there's a higher version number very available. This uh, creates a link uh, to open a browser to the release notes for that release. So if you want to know what's in it, you click on that. You can read this page. Again, you know, this is an example. 
normally there would be notes here telling you what all was changed um, and then if you decide to upgrade you would go here at the bottom in the assets section which maybe co collapsed like this what you do is open that and that'll have the the main helios installers so this is what you want and then if you are uh, one of the few people using 32-bit systems um, there are also 32-bit installers but um, you know uh, there's a minimal amount of testing uh, done on those um, Bruven says they work so probably do um, yep so that's that so then you would you know just download that and that, that's a zip file that includes all the uh, installers inside it um, you know the key press receiver installer is now a separate thing that's if just if you're using Helios over a network and you need that um, that used to be included in and then the the main installer has the version number just Helios and the version number and MSI so that would be the normal install you would just run that and then you know you would upgrade that way um, you can also click this button and it will just download the zip for you if you don't want to do it uh, manually you can just do that and it'll you know directly go to the installers zip for 64-bit systems okay um, so that's the version check I think that is everything um, there is uh, command line options now have help so if you were wondering sometimes there are you know people tell you use a command line option you can run profile editor with dash dash help or actually by typing any invalid option it will show a little box and tell you what the options are um, oh yeah one thing I did want to mention also if, if you're clicking around uh, when you click on controls it now shows here at the top of the editor the properties it shows you what kind of things you're pointing at so if you're wondering what kind of control is being used to you know okay in this case it's a panel so I'd have to open the panel first but if you're if you're wondering what type of control that is well that's just another bezel and then you know there's going to be some buttons inside it and so on and so you see that's a tactile square button and that helps you if you're looking at somebody else's profile to see you know what they used from the toolbox to build that and also just in case you forgot okay I think that's everything <laughs>